cop resigns after mistaking fallen acorn for gunshot, firing at unarmed suspect in the patrol car. From the New York Post, this is Brandon, a.k.a. the Port City Attorney. Let's see what happens. Shots fired! Shots fired! Shots fired! Shots fired! You know. I'm good. I feel weird, but I'm good. It's called adrenaline. I'm good. I'm good. I might have hit my vest. Look, I've never been shot before. Okay, spoiler alert. However, from the people I've talked to that have and were wearing a vest or some sort of a plate carrier, you feel it. It feels like you got punched in the chest. It's a lot of force being stopped, right? So you did or you didn't. I mean, I get it. Listen, I've been in situations. I was in the military. I've been in combat. I get it. I get the adrenaline rush when something like this happens. Come on, man. What are we doing here? It might have hit my vest, I don't know. But I'm not. I don't know. I it felt like it. Jesse, move over to me. I got you. Move over to me. Jesse, what come you? back. Yeah, uh, uh, Mark, right there. Dude, am I hit? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Give me traffic. Shots fired. Shots no. fired. I got a deputy down. No. No. Where are you hit? Where are you hit? No. Get back. No. Get back. Get back. Anybody do anything, please. No. I might have hit my best. Okay. No. Okay. Okay. No. Get back. Get back. I'm not gonna tell you go. Get back. Get back. Real quick, I just wanted to say that Attorney Tom slash Attorney Reacts content is now on Spotify. We just launched a partnered show. Link in the description. Go check it out. Now, back to the video. Holy crikey. Okay, mixed emotions, right? I had a friend of mine reach out to me who was a law enforcement officer or former law enforcement officer said that apparently this officer had post-traumatic stress syndrome. He was in the military. And when he heard that, he mistook it for a, a gunshot and just started laying waste, right? Here's my thing. 
again, look, I'm an attorney. I used to be in the military. I was an enlisted guy when I got out, you know, so I was a 21 year old in Afghanistan. Listen, we took pop shots all the time. A pop shot is when a foreign fighter would take a single shot at you to see what your reaction was, right? Could have been a sniper or just a gunshot, right? Do you know what we were allowed to do whenever we got pop shots? Nothing, nothing. We had to have a little thing called PID, positive identification, right? So no matter what way you cut this, this officer was in the wrong. He was negligent and he put innocent people at risk by emptying a magazine into his own patrol car. Now, listen, I'm just a lawyer. I just watch these videos all the time. What do I know? Except the one thing I do know is that whenever you put a suspect in the back of your car, typically you're going to do a Terry pat down, right? You're going to do a search on him to make sure he doesn't have any weapons on him, right? You might have a firearm in your car that's going to be locked, okay? And so if you're an officer and you hear what sounds like a shot being fired, maybe take cover, all right? And just see what the heck happened. Again, either way you cut it, you know, do I feel for the guy? Yes. If he has post-traumatic stress syndrome and, and he went into some sort of an episode, I do feel bad for him to a certain extent. But this is not only on him. It's on the department, right? This sort of stuff should have come out. This sort of stuff should have come out in the psychological piece of the interview process. Um, there's no excuse for this. This is horrendous. It is atrocious. There's no way to cut it, right? He, he not only wounded the unarmed suspect in the back of the car, he also traumatized the the girlfriend or wife or who sister, whoever that was, by shooting at him because he mistook a freaking acorn for a gunshot. Ah, disappointed is another uh, there's no words disappointing is the only word i can think of tell me what you guys think do you think that if he had ptsd for military service that that should be some sort of a mitigating factor for him do you think that the police department or the sheriff's office rather should be held accountable for not catching that and do you think that the not only the man but you think the woman might be able to to recover on anything for having to witness that let me know what you think in the comments guys like subscribe share do all the things. We'll see you next time. Please be careful under acorn trees. Big verdict.